Hi, I'm Danny, and this is Practical Mommy Loves Luxury. Welcome to another video on practical parenting. And today's video is going to be on my favorite Kmart toys. If you follow my channel, you know that I subscribe to the Montessori method, which encourages the use of high quality wooden toys as well as passive toys. The thing is though, Montessori toys can be on the pricey side. And again, if you follow my channel, you know that I'm all about practical spending for the most part. Fortunately though, in about the last six years or so, Kmart has started making really nice toys at pretty reasonable prices. Some of these prices are so good that sometimes they're even cheaper than the pre-loved market. Now, if you think that this might be common knowledge, I beg to differ. I only discovered Kmart when I became a mother and not because I did not want to shop at Kmart, but before I became a mother, I was a pretty busy adult. I worked long shifts and did most of my shopping online. So, um, but since I've had a baby, I don't quite work the same hours anymore. And I discovered Kmart from another parent. For those of you who have been living under a rock like I was, or you're just interested in looking at Kmart toys, or you just enjoy watching my videos, in today's video, I will be showing you my favorite Kmart toys, most of which will be Montessori inspired. All of them are passive and open-ended, which can be very immersive for a child. I introduced these toys, or perhaps some components of these toys to my daughter when she was about seven months old. Initially, it was more about me demonstrating how to play with these toys. Uh, my daughter is now three years old and she's very much grown into these toys. Now, because every child develops at different rates, so I will leave it to you to decide which of these toys would be suitable for your child and at what age. And I have to say, of course, all toys are choking hazards. Please supervise your child. And as usual, I will leave all relevant details in the description box below. The first thing I've got is this train set. Now, I love train sets because they are great for the connection schema because the tracks come in individual parts and the child can work on connecting the bits together. Now in this train set, the child can connect random parts together or it does come with an instruction booklet so that you can build it exactly as it is on the box. I have a whole video dedicated to explaining schemas, so I won't be going into detail about schemas in this video, otherwise it is just going to get too long. So if you're interested in understanding more about schemas, go ahead and watch the video. I'm going to leave a link up here for you as well as a link in the description box below. The portions of the trains are also magnetized, so the child can have some fun connecting and disconnecting uh, the train parts, which is again great for the connection schema. For a younger child, what you can do with this train set is to build the train track for them and you can show them how to move the train along the train track and they can copy you, which is great for the trajectory schema where the child experiments with movement. The other thing that I like about a farm set is that they are farm animals. So I liked using these animals to facilitate learning about animals and I use them a lot to sing, Oh, McDonald had a farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A very young child can also have a lot of fun just tearing the train tracks apart. And as the child gets older, a train set like this is great for imaginary play. Next up is a kitchen play set. So my daughter absolutely loves this toy because she gets to practice meal prepping as well because she sees us doing it in the kitchen. Now I know that this one is a plastic one. Kmart does sell a nicer quality wooden one. However, I did try to buy it, but it was too heavy and I couldn't carry it to the car. So I settled for this one instead because no wooden wonderful toy is worth a lifetime of back pain. Anyway, so I bought this toy for my daughter when she was two years old and it's been hours and hours of fun since. To complement this kitchen set, of course, are pretend food and pretend utensils. I really like this chopping set here. So these pieces of vegetables are connected together by Velcro and the child can uh, repeatedly practice chopping them up and put them back together, which is great again for the connection schema. Playing with this toy can also help develop their gross motor control and this skill can potentially translate to really cutting up food. The other thing that I really like is this tea set. I'm going to put an image on screen, but do bear in mind that this is probably only about a quarter of the original set. Of 
course I've owned these tea set for a while my daughter's been playing with it and I couldn't find most of it while I was trying to gain the image for this video but it's got cups sauces teapots pretend food and it's great for role playing the next toy that I really love from Kmart is this police and criminal set now I particularly like this toy because it comes with this helicopter and the helicopter has blades that rotate which is great for the rotation schema and I think it's actually really hard to find well-priced wooden helicopters this set also has a slide where the vehicle and the criminal and the police can slide down it which is great for the trajectory schema and there's also a pretend jail where you can put the prisoner or the policeman inside which is great for the envelopment schema next up i have these mermaid nesting dolls so i originally bought this set because of the nesting function of these mermaids and the nesting function of these dolls was great for the envelopment schema because you literally envelop uh, one mermaid into each other and my daughter when she was very young had lots of fun opening up these dolls to find them within each other when she was very young i was mindful that these two smaller parts were choking hazards so i did put them away until more recently when that became less of a concern and once her dexterity improved so much so that she could paint um, we obviously have painted them this set comes with a brush and some paint pots so we're about halfway through the video and if you are enjoying this so far please click on that like button and to my wonderful unsubscribed viewers if you enjoy my content i would really really appreciate it if you could subscribe because it would help my channel grow getting right back to the video so we were talking about painting kmart does sell a whole range of painting equipment here i have some poster paint and when it comes to buying paint colors what i would suggest is that you don't have to go crazy and buy all the paint colors perhaps buy three or four primary colors and the child can take the opportunity to mix the colors and mixing the colors is great for the transformation schema where the child watches two colors transform into one Kmart also sells these brushes which are great for little hands because they've got knobby handles however an alternative to using brushes or sponges like this is that you can just um, put some blobs of these paint down on some paint paper and the child can smear them around with their hands Painting is also great for the imagination because essentially you've provided your child with a blank canvas and they can just do whatever they want with the paint. However, if you're finding that your child um, is not really getting into it yet, what you can do is to draw something on that piece of paper and watch your child just destroy it. Now, if you like the idea of art and painting, but you're not so keen on the mess that could come out of it, a great alternative is this Water Magic Art Pack. Now these art packs come with these cardboards that come white. However, once you wet it with water, an image will appear. Now the art pack does come with a pen with a very skinny tip. And for a very young child, it may take a really long time for the image to appear and that may um, cause them to, I guess, lose interest. So what you can do is you can give them a sponge or a paintbrush. They can just dunk that in some water and put it over the piece of cardboard and the image will appear much more quickly. So I think it's a great alternative for, say, plane travel. The next thing that I've got is this alphabet puzzle. I do like this puzzle for a number of reasons. The first thing for a very young child, what I like to do is to be able to pick up a letter and present it to them and say, this is the letter D, D for dog. And when I pick it up, it means that I have essentially isolated the letter for them. As opposed to the child looking down at a page where there's a lot of letters on it and they need to then, um, I guess, filter out the extra information that's on the page. Kind of like surgeons, I guess, when they do an operation, they drape the patient and they just operate through a hole. I think that helps them focus, I think. The other thing that I like to do with these parts is that I can hand them to my daughter. So it gives her a tactile aspect to the experience. You can also use the letters for stacking and knocking over. And of course, once she got older, she uses this as a regular puzzle. Speaking of stacking, the next toy that I have here is a stacking slash balancing toy. So the child 
or the adult can practice stacking the animals on top of each other and getting them as high as possible until you finish using up all the animals. When my daughter was very young, obviously this was a little bit harder for her and um, we practiced stacking it sideways instead. And just with that activity, she enjoyed knocking it over. Now I can crush it down. You can crush it down. The other thing that I like about this set is that it's got different animals to the farm set that had farm animals. So this meant that I was able to teach her how to name wild animals. Next up, I have the very popular Kmart magnets. I hear that these are so popular that they can be very difficult to get in larger cities like Melbourne. They do go out of stock once in a while in Adelaide, but they seem to always come back in stock again, which is great. Magnets, as I said before, are great for the connection schema where the child can connect and disconnect the parts. They're also great for stacking, like so, and also great for building, which facilitates the transformation schema. The other thing that I like about these magnets is that they are hollow in the middle, which means um, it's easy for a child with little hands to grip and to manipulate. Next up, I have this toy camera. I love this camera so much. <laughs> And that's because it looks like a traditional um, old-fashioned camera and I find children don't get to really see these cameras nowadays anymore unless their parents might be a YouTuber or a professional photographer because let's face it most of us just use our phones nowadays because the phones in our cameras are so high-tech. Um, this is great for role-playing and this specific toy comes with a couple of lenses that are interchangeable as well and the lenses have kaleidoscopes in them which is great for the rotation schema. I'm just gonna come close. Hello! <laughs> well there you go. <laughs> and then I have the very old-fashioned Play-Doh. There is nothing better for the transformation schema than Play-Doh because obviously the possibilities are endless. You can use Play-Doh to form anything you want. You can do it manually or you can use cookie cutters. You can take a couple of Play-Doh colors and mix them up to see what color you get. Again, great for the transformation schema. Um, Kmart sells a pot of Play-Doh like this for 75 cents. Now it depends on how much Play-Doh you need and how willing you are to make Play-Doh. For a parent who is relatively busy and because I don't need large, large amounts of Play-Doh, I do find it more worthwhile to just purchase them than to make my own. My next video is going to be a tag video that was started by Eileen from Colourful Noir. Eileen is a luxury YouTuber that I do enjoy watching and the topic of the tag is items that I would buy again and again. Now I've decided to join in on the fun because it was a video that I was planning to do anyway. And not to worry, I promise that it will still be full of practical tips with a hint of luxury. So to make sure you don't miss out on that video, do subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be informed when that video is published. While you wait for that video, do feel free to enjoy some of these videos over here. Otherwise, I hope you liked this video and please click on that like button and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!